What's up, everyone? It's Lance here, and I'm back with another mini sode. And today, uh, I think my RP peoples uh, will really appreciate this. Or anyone who deals with night blindness, which sounds ironic a little bit, you know, night blindness. Of course, it's dark at night. But those with RP know what I'm talking about. Those with retinal eye diseases that affect them at nighttime and in dark and low light situations know what I'm talking about. So I'll get right into it. I won't waste your time. Again, these mini sodes are going to be 10 minutes or less. But I saw this article recently from uh, News Atlas. And here's the article, it's on my phone. The article's title is, Night Vision Lenses So Thin and Light That We Can All See in the Dark. I'm gonna read a little bit, but I encourage everyone to read the article. From evening drives to navigating a house or a park in the dark, there are so many situations where it'd be handy to slip on a simple pair of night vision lenses in the world that's beyond human optical perception could be illuminated like never before. This vision could be a reality with a technology breakthrough that could deliver these elusive view to everyday consumers with an ultra thin film or lens the width of cling wrap. Researchers from the ARC Center of Excellence for Transformative Meta Optical Systems in Australia have been on a quest to make night vision accessible and wearable, doing away with bulky and expensive headsets and lens attachments. Their new findings allow all the complex light processing to take place along a simpler, narrower, narrower, it's hard to say, pathway, which essentially means the tech can be packaged up as a night vision film that weighs less than a gram and can be placed across existing lens frames. Having an everyday pair of night vision spectacles that look much the same as reading or driving glasses could change the way that we work and play after dark. There's so much potential from finding your off-leash dog in the park on a late night walk to enhance safety behind the wheel and on foot. And there's more to this article. For example, they cover the science behind it all. It explains how these glasses will be great to have, but they won't be as good, you know, as these heavy set, you know, night vision goggles are just simply due to the science behind what makes those work. You know, it involves infrared light. I'm not a scientist, so I'm not even going to try to explain it. But if you want to learn more about the science and get deep in the weeds on that, I shared the article in the episode description. You know, when I think of night vision goggles, I think of giant goggles on my head, you know, that the military uses. And as a kid, I always wanted a pair. You know, I always wanted to like go outside in the woods in my backyard and kind of have night vision goggles and pretend I'm like Solid Snake from Metal Gear Solid or something like that. But as an adult, I kind of realized that it's not really practical to have this massive piece of, you know, <laughs> eyewear on your head. So I don't really have the urge to have night vision goggles anymore. But a really thin like almost cellophane layer is how they're describing it, which would basically fit on a pair of glasses. Sign me up, you know, as someone with RP, you know, my vision at nighttime isn't the best. My vision in low light situations, dark restaurants, movie theaters, things like that, not the best. So if there was something that I could just quickly put on, like if I had a specific pair for nighttime in these dark situations, I would gladly have a pair of those glasses. But yeah, how? what does everyone think about this? Would everyone love a pair of glasses that helps them see better at nighttime? I think across the board, I think everyone would probably want that, especially the RP community. I sent it to my sister and she was like, where can I buy these? <laughs> and I had the kind of same idea. You know, there's still people with RP out there driving and the ones that do drive avoid driving at nighttime. It's a source of anxiety for people who drive with RP. And, you know, when the sun's going down, they're like, oh, I got to get home. So Every now and then you, you might have to be forced into a situation where you're driving in a darker scenario than you want to, or not even in a car, but you have to navigate a darker area than you want to. And I think having a pair of these glasses would help and they benefit everyone, you know, not just people with RP, you know, it can be used for surveillance cameras to help get better imagery at nighttime for cameras and surveillance, finding their dog when it goes outside at night. It can be used for biological imaging. It can be used for various things. So of course, these night vision lenses were not designed specifically for people with RP. They were designed for a variety of of other things, you know, most products need to be profitable and have to have a wide market, but hey, I'll take it, you know. With that said, I do not know if failing retinas will be able to use this technology. I don't know if the 
this technology with these lenses will work with, you know, degenerative eye conditions or how it plays into how the retina works, et cetera. It may not let enough light into the glasses. You might have to be able to process a certain amount of light naturally to kind of reap the benefits of these lenses. But either way, I just wanted to share this because I wanted to put it on everyone's radar. It sounds so simple. I think that's what excited me. Oh, a pair of glasses that will help me see in these darker scenarios. You know, it's not a complete solve. It doesn't cure it. But hey, it's a win and something I never thought of, you know, that it should exist. They do make nighttime glasses that have yellow lenses already that you can kind of buy online. Um, I'm not sure how good they work, um, but apparently they reduce glare. So there are options out there already um, if you want to check those out. But I thought this sounded really cool and it's something that I'm going to look into. And I definitely want to get a pair of... Um, of these glasses when they become available. But I just want to share that. What do you guys think? Will these glasses cure night blindness for people with RP? Or is this technology not for people with RP? I have to figure that out. But either way, I'm interested in it. It's very fascinating. Again, check out the article. Thanks for listening.